All right, Chapman Good Podcast. Man, I'm all jacked up today. Just got done listening to Long Way to the Top by ACDC like eight times. Man, that's a great song. Anytime there's bagpipes involved in a song, that's a great song. Uh, live in the truth, people. Live in the truth. You must. Do what you must. Not do as thou wilt. That's Satan speaking. Do what you must, and you must live in the truth. This is, we are living in the age of shadows. And you're seeing, before I read this devotion, let me break down this thought for you. Let me explain something to you. One, one way to look at what's going on right now. Is it possible that uh, this is a prelude to something else? Right? This, this may be a season where God is showing us, this is what happens when you stray. When you stray away from beholding the truth and embracing the truth, seeking after and climbing the mountain of truth, when you forsake all of that and you decide to live in the green meadows of your wealth and your opulence and your power, and you decided, ah, who needs truth, man? We've got money. Everything's taken care of. Like Nobody starves to death in our country anymore. Let's just forget it all. Forget God. Yeah, we'll go to church, but we're not really going to teach our kids the way this is what happens. This is why thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not bear false witness, as it's uh, uh, more specifically pointed out. Don't bear false witness. We got away from that. Eh, don't tell lies. Don't lie, but if you do lie, if it's just a little white lie, then I guess you're okay. You know what I mean? Like that whole thing, like we have as a as a church, as a nation, as a people, we have strayed away from the truth. And now the liars are running the show and they're unabashed. You can catch them lying and they will just lie some more. And they'll do it completely unrepentantly. Unrepentantly. They don't care anymore. This is the thing. I've told you guys this before on the podcast. I've had a couple of friends, two friends in my lifetime, that their big struggle was lying, right? The same way that we've, you know, some of us have had friends that their struggle was heroin or some people's struggle was pornography or, you know what I mean, like gambling or greed or whatever, sloth. I know somebody right now that like, that's their big struggle is sloth and it's a very difficult thing to, to look at, to, to watch. But lying. I've had two friends that were like, listen, man, I don't know why, but I just, I just lie. I just say things that aren't true and I don't know why because my life is actually interesting enough on its own. I don't know why I make stuff up. And it's like, that's a repentant sinner. That's somebody who knows that about themselves and they're like, oh, I just, you know, it's just this thing, man, I'm powerless against it. And I'm ashamed of it. And I'm sorry. You know, like that's, it's like, okay, cool. Cool, like I can be your friend now. As long as you're aware of your problem, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the heroin addict. It's like when you have a friend that's on heroin. Listen, there's a lot of guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan and they have problems with opioids. And they know it. And a lot of them die from it. And it's like when you look at those people, it's like, dude, if you're going to get judgmental, and like, then you're the creep. You're the asshole in that situation, right? You look at those people, if they're, especially you know, if they're your friends and, you, and your heart breaks for them. It's like, oh, man. But at least the truth is known. You know what the truth is and they know what the truth is. And the truth is they have something to struggle with. But when people just, they just lie. And they don't care whose lives are ruined because of it. And what the consequences are, they just want to be thought of a certain way, even if only briefly, right? This is our penalty. Like we, this is, again, extreme ownership. This is what we have created in our society. And it's not the first time that this has happened to God's people. It is not the first time, the entire first, you know, two thirds of, of the Bible, you know, the old Testament, it's, it's the same story over and over again with different people and in different time slots, but it's the same story. God 
talks to the people, tells them what, you know, tells them what they got to do. They do it. They live in God's presence and his protection and everything is wonderful and they get rich and God makes them powerful and rich. And then they decide, ah, you know what, forget it. We don't need God. We're powerful and rich. And then uh, everything collapses and then, you know, Babylon comes in, Egypt comes in, Rome comes in, whatever. The Assyrians come in, you know, the, the, uh, Ninevites come in, whatever, they get carted off to slavery. And then they, they call out to God and God says, okay, well, here's what you got to do. You got to repent and remember what I told you the first time. And then they do that. And then they get, you know, released from slavery and God puts them back on their, on their, you know, uh, their rock, you know, their safe place. And he sets them back up and he, and he starts restoring them and then they get restored and they live in the glory of God and then they get wealthy and then they get powerful and rinse, repeat, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. That's what we have done. That's exactly what we've done. We came to America. God blessed us more than anybody else. I mean, seriously, like more than anybody else that, that, that I can think of. I, you know what I mean? Like the, the comparison to Israel, it's like, man, I, I think God gave us more than he ever gave Israel. You know, I mean, the United States has been ruling the world now for 70 years. That's, you know what I mean? Like, and, and what did we do? We got wealthy, we got powerful. And we said, ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, I mean, we'll go to church on Sunday. We'll tell our kids like, oh, we're Catholic. Oh, we're Christian. Oh, we're this, oh, we're that. But you don't really, I mean, it's really, you know, you, you know and then our kids go off to college, even in seminary, and they're taught like, yeah, I mean, that's a good story, but I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do, bro. <laughs> Quit screwing around here. We're making a lot of money. You know, that's exactly what we've done. And now we're having it shoved in our faces. This is what happens when you derivate from the truth. The liars creep in and take over. That's how you get the head of the CIA, a, a registered to vote communist, John Brennan. That's how you get Andy McCabe, who uh, goes on national television and says, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, tried to, uh, we, we, we tried to wiretap the president of the United States. We tried to secretly and illegally record him. Oh, this whole thing with, uh, with, the, with the Russia, Russia, Russia thing, yeah, that was all, the seed of all of that was uh, the Trump dossier, which was paid for by Hillary Clinton. That's where it all started, a thing that Hillary Clinton had created. You can get lost in looking at the insanity and, and wondering how it is that everybody keeps buying all this, this nonsense, but really it's, it's my fault. You have to say that to yourself. This is my fault. Extreme ownership, it's very uncomfortable. But it is because we have lived unrepentant lives. And now it's time to repent. And guess what? God's goodness has never changed. So let me read this um, devotional to you from Jesus Calling. If you're watching on YouTube, Jesus Calling this is written by a lady named Sarah Young, who was a longtime missionary. And it is written as a devotional in the first person. So it's just like Jesus is talking directly to you and to me. Learn to live in your true center in me. I reside in the deep, deepest depths. Wow, let me start that whole thing all over again. I was talking like Mike Tyson there for a second. Learn to live from your true center in me. I reside in the deepest depths of your being, in eternal union with your spirit. It is at this deep level that my peace reigns continually. You will not find lasting peace in the world around you, in circumstances, or in human relationships. The external world is always in flux, under the curse of death and decay. But there is a gold mine of peace, deep within you, waiting to be tapped. Take time to delve into the riches of my residing presence. I want you to live increasingly from your real center, where my love has an eternal grip on you. I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. Now for you people listening on, uh, if you're just tuning in, watching on YouTube, 
Uh, I recommend that you go listen to the entire episode because I explain why I'm so jacked up today, so happy. Listen, uh, if you want to hear the entire episode of the podcast, if you want to listen to the audio podcast, if that's your thing, go down to the links below in today's episode. Uh, the link to today's episode is down there, both on iTunes. I'll put SoundCloud on there, and I'll put uh, um, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, and then the Libsyn link. And you can click on that and listen to the whole thing. But if you just want to watch this clip, great. Please hit subscribe. Please hit, uh, which way is it? Please hit the bell icon and please hit share. If you'll notice, I have less than 300 subscribers. You can change that. You can be the guy that says, dude, I've been with this guy since back when he was just a little no-name guy with less than 300 subscribers. You can be with me when I have millions, when I'm bigger than PewDiePie, man. By the way, nobody's bigger than PewDiePie. But uh, please hit subscribe. Please hit share. And uh, please hit uh, the bell icon because that's... Uh, you know, the, the YouTube al algorithm with Google and everything, that's how, that's how it works. And if you do listen to the podcast on audio, please make sure to hit subscribe to that as well. And for all of you people who are complaining about how bad the sound, you know, the sound is and the fact that there's no graphics and blah, 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 it's because I need money for that. So if you want to support the show, this is, the show is at the moment 100% uh, fan funded. So please send your money. Remember that song, Send Me Your Money by uh, Suicidal Tendencies? Great. One of the, one of the greats. Uh, you can send me money at paypal.me slash archadvocate. Paypal.me slash archadvocate. And no, I don't do Patreon because those people are evil. We don't do business with evil people. 